Japan, a country replete with fascinating practices, much in every aspect of its culture and tradition. From its intriguing dining table rituals to the interestingly flavored Kit Kats, from the celebrated Jinrikisha to the groundbreaking Shinkansen, it is a land which spells out uniqueness all over its name. Music and theater is no exception. And when you combine these two with Japanese savoir faire, you then get kabuki. The kabuki is a traditional theater form combining dance, drama, and music. The kanji characters that make up the word is roughly read as song, dance, and scale. It was developed during the late 17th through the early 18th century and catered to the rising middle class who didn't have the same opportunity of seeing theaters like Noh Place <laughs> and Bugaku dances, which were exclusive to the nobles and the elites. These middle class were mostly composed of businessmen who have low birth statuses but were wealthy and can afford to live extravagantly as the old rich people would. Essentially, these people were the patrons of Kabuki and were key to its popularization and development. It was believed to have started in 1603 by Okuni, a wandering female dancer along with an all-female troupe who performed suggestive dances and skits around Kyoto. These random shows eventually developed into theater performances, yet still very much connected with eroticism. Kabuki theaters operated alongside the pleasure houses, that is even with the shogun government's attempt to separate the two by banning women from performances, a practice that Kabuki keeps until now. There was a fear of losing commerce, weakening the circulation of wealth driven by the middle class, which is why these types of entertainment were deemed necessary at that time. Towards the late 1800s, Kabuki's connection to the pleasure houses got cut off, eventually elevating the status of the art form into a classical theater. Although this time, women are not any more part of the performances and productions. Even at modern times, the kabuki is still run by all male performers, typically by families of actors who hands over the tradition through generations. Kabuki is a highly stylized theater form in almost every aspect. This is seen in its elaborate costumes, heavy makeup, bodily gestures that are dance-like, and the mie, an imposing stance held by an actor for a period of time which represents the conflict between intense emotion and its physical outburst. Performers in Kabuki are categorized into three major roles. The onagata, an actor which specializes in female characters, the wagoto, a gentle style role for love stories, and the aragoto, a bold acting style used in fighting plays. Although intended for entertainment, the kabuki also imparts moral values to its audience. Subject matters are mostly taken from actual historical events or jidai mono and life events of everyday people or sewa mono. Like any other classical art, the Japanese are keen in preserving the kabuki. In Japan's Ginza district sits the Kabukiza, a theater built in 1889 dedicated to kabuki performances. In the Edo period, an average performance may last for about 5 hours which begins in the morning and continues in the afternoon. This schedule allows spectators to bring food inside and eat them in their seats, unlike in Western theaters. Interacting with the audience is also an essential component in every performance. There tends to be more women in the audience since most men are at work during the day and women are naturally drawn to their favorite actors. Think of it as a Tokugawa era boy band phenomenon. Compared to modern stage musicals, music in Kabuki is subdued and unpretentious. It is refined and intentional. The instruments used are very minimal, yet very functional as they are played in reference to the actions. For instance, the regal sound of the koto, 
can be used in palace scenes or anything that involves the nobles. Drums can be used for tragedies and suspense, and the lively flute and drum sounds in reference to temple festivities. The musicians are concealed from the audience at stage left. It has an unobstructed view to see the unfolding drama for seamless coordination. Some traditional instruments used in kabuki performances include the shamisen, a lute which is often paired with vocals and also provides punctuations on spoken dialogues, the nokan, a transverse or side-blown flute used in entrances, the membranophones otsuzumi and kotsuzumi, and the board zither koto. Singing is also an important element in kabuki. Vocals may contain a solo male with an all-male ensemble. The singers are not part of the actor's lineup and are solely in charge of all the chorus parts that the actors would have done if without them. They can also create a different narrative from what is being shown, like the thoughts of an actor being highlighted while a totally different scene happens on stage. If you've enjoyed this video and would like to see more contents like this, Subscribe to Vids Music.